Hi, I'm Chris McDonald, and for people who've been watching my video blogs recently, you realise I'm doing a bit of an in-depth study into the use of hydrogen to uh, decarbonise and prevent climate change. And so I thought I'd better bring along an expert to talk about that, and I'm joined by my colleague here, Mark. Uh, Mark runs one of the research groups here at the Materials Processing Institute. So thank you very much for joining me, Mark. And maybe you want to say a bit about yourself and, and what you do here at the Institute. Uh, um, I manage the uh, Industrial Decarbonisation Group, which really is looking at how we come up with practical solutions to the challenges of reducing carbon emissions from heavy industrial processes. And a big part of that, obviously, is is where does hydrogen fit in, or hydrogen and electricity, where does that fit in? So I know in your research team, Mark, you're coming up with loads of really great ideas for how we can use hydrogen in industry. Mm. But what do you think the big challenges are for uh, adopting hydrogen? Uh, the cost of green hydrogen is one, which is coming down, and it will keep coming down, but it's, it's obviously, it's, at the moment, it's a bit too high for people to afford this year. Yeah. But what we, what we are doing is trying to look at ways that we can introduce hydrogen into the processes at the right point appropriately, not overdoing it, um, so that people can make the decisions for two or three years down the line, how do they actually want to decarbonise and use hydrogen in the right place. So look, a lot of people say to me, Mark, why would we use hydrogen at all? Because we're going to make electricity, we're going mm -hmm. to use the electricity to make hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Surely it's just cheaper to use electricity. Uh, hydrogen's going to be more expensive. So, so why would we use it? Why wouldn't we just use electricity? Um, no, it's a good point. Good point. Um, sometimes if you want to deliver heat very quickly, you've got to actually set fire to something. You've actually got to have a flame or a, a thermal source delivering heat in quickly. Um, and that coupled with the fact that a lot of um, furnace processes are using natural gas flames now, they're not electric heating. So if people want to change quickly to a lower carbon um, heat source, then adding hydrogen into that gas mix makes more sense than trying to completely rebuild a furnace at this point in the investment cycle. Um, but yeah, also we should be looking at how we can use electricity to um, to heat and drive processes to the right point, but I think we are still also going to need to be able to use the dispatchable quick power, um, quick heat input methods of gas as well. And for that, we've got to work out how to do that safely and um, efficiently with hydrogen. So I can see that's going to be a bit of both, I suppose, really. So what do you think is the sort of one thing we need to do, maybe here at the Institute or maybe in industry more broadly, that will really help us to push forward with hydrogen? Ooh. Um, there's, there's, a, lo there's a, a bunch of things really, but one of them is around cheaper methods of producing green hydrogen. And that was something we're doing now. We're, we're, we're testing out some, some kit at the moment that, that may help to bring down prices of hydrogen generation. Because if you can actually generate it, if you're an industrial user who needs to use hydrogen to reduce iron ore down to iron or to um, to heat a furnace, if you can do it on site, and that's the great thing about renewable electricity and the, the way the grid is decentralizing, is you could actually produce things nearer to where you need it rather than having to have a lot of big storage and, and infrastructure to deliver it as well. So some of it is, is just about cracking, um, how do you train people, how do you build confidence in having your own hydrogen infrastructure, handling it on site, generating it, and how do we help British industry to, to drive the cost down? There's a lot of good innovation and, and thought and genius at work in there, but how do we actually get it from drawing board and lab scale up to industrial process size? That's great. Thanks very much, Mark. Uh, really exciting times. And as, as Mark says, um, here at the Institute, Mark and his team and experts are, are working out ways to bring technology uh, to the point where it can be used in industry. And if you want to find out more about that or about industrial strategy in general, then do get along to my YouTube channel and click on subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.